Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. And I have a special haul, it is pumpkin palooza. We have everything fall. I made a trip to Trader Joe's, I got everything I ever desired. When it comes to pumpkin things, lots of new food finds, great deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose 140 pounds and maintain that weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free, amazing, supportive Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let me turn you around and let's get into Pumpkin Palooza. So here is the first part of my haul for the week from Trader Joe's. We have Pumpkin Palooza. I bought everything that interested me that was pumpkin and they have some really great new things this year. So let's go ahead and jump in. So of course I bought some flowers. I love Trader Joe's flowers, $4.99 for this massive bunch of mums. I'll tell you that it's been well over a month since I've been to Trader Joe's and I just threw away the flowers I bought a month ago. They last forever, especially these mums. And I got the dog some treats, actually kind of a sweet story. When I was at the checkout, the girl was like, oh, what are you up to today? And I said, oh, I'm shopping while my dog's at chemo. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she said, I'm gonna give you the treats on the house. So she gave me the two bags of treats that I bought at no charge, which was really sweet. I told her she didn't have to do that, but she insisted. So I got these pumpkin maple bacon flavored stuffies for Lola. These have a little amount of protein, like 8%. And then these are new this year. And she said her dog loves these. These are the Harvest Bunch Turkey Apple and Pumpkin Waffle Treats. These ones have a lot more protein. So those are actually going to Mr. Palmer. I buy these every year. I absolutely love these. These are the Petite Pumpkin Spice Shortbread Cookies. Let's see, 130 calories for four. I usually have a serving, so two to four, depending on how much I want, but these are seriously so good. They're kind of like animal crackers, but pumpkin spice flavored, 10 out of 10. I also got the apple cider donuts. I haven't bought these in years. I know Troy will like having these as well. These are only 4.49 for six. They're 320 calories per donut. I did get the fall leaf tortilla chips. I love salsa tortilla chips. These are actually good through Thanksgiving. They're actually good till January. So I grabbed them now. I'll end up most likely saving them for Thanksgiving. I picked up the pumpkin spice Chardonnay wine. This is for my friend Melissa. She's actually having us over to do a craft day tomorrow. And I wanted to bring her a little thank you gift. And both her and my friend Whitney do drink alcohol. So I want them to try this. I've heard really good things about it. And then I bought a lot of candles because they had some amazing scents. So Woodlands is more of a wintry scent, kind of has a pine outdoorsy scent, smells amazing. I got vanilla pumpkin, that's one of my go-tos. And then they have this little trio for $9.99 that has three scents. So there's autumn leaves, maple, ginger, and salted caramel. They all smell incredible. They're a lot smaller than this candle, so they're about half the size, but you got all three of them for $9.99. And then I got two of these. I wanna have one today for my second protein supplement. These are the Bear Bells Pumpkin Spice Protein Bars, 20 grams of protein. I have never tried these. I think they're actually new this year, so I'm so excited. I will pop up here on the screen what I thought of it, because I'll be eating it before I edit this video. I got my pumpkin bagels and my pumpkin cream cheese. These are staples for me. I do typically only eat half of the bagel. I have one bagel last me two meals or two snacks. This is something I like to have before I work out or as part of my breakfast. They have the best pumpkin bagels and hands down the best pumpkin cream cheese. I actually bought two because these go quickly. Love. So actually, speaking of pumpkin, this stuff is all sold out pretty quick at Trader Joe's. So if you're interested, I would go immediately because it sells out quick. Pumpkin biscotti, another one of my favorite, favorite things from Trader Joe's during pumpkin season. It is 110 calories for two. They're actually pretty good size. I normally only eat one. They're so good. So pumpkin-y, so spicy. This is new, I think, this year, the pumpkin cold brew coffee. So this is a concentrate. So you mix this with water or milk. Be really mindful of that. It's super duper strong. I, you know, love pumpkin coffee, pumpkin creamer. So I'm gonna mix this with some water or some Fairlife milk and then have my sugar-free pumpkin creamer in there. 
I did pick up a bottle of the GT's Gratitude Kombucha. This is the fall flavor. It's turmeric. It's so good. I absolutely love it. I usually only drink about half of a bottle at a time, but it's one of my favorite kombuchas, so I pick it up every year. This is new this year, the Pumpkin Spice Snickerdoodle Cookie Mix. I'm going to make these for me and Troy just for something pumpkin spice. And then I buy these every year too. These are the Pumpkin Cranberry Crisps. They have dried cranberries in there. They are really, really good. And actually, you can have a good amount, 11 of them for 80 calories. So I really like them. They're good on with dip. They're actually good with a salty cheese. So if you can find like maybe a sharp white cheddar or something, that would be really good. Again, that would be amazing for the holidays. This is new too. This is the orange and spice scented candle in room spritz. So you actually get a room spritz and then a little baby candle. This candle is the same size as those minis and this was only $5.99 and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. If you love orange spice, it actually reminds me of putting oranges and cloves and cinnamon in a pot and boiling it on your stove. That's what it smells like. So good, so fall. So I had to grab that. I also picked up the vanilla pumpkin hand soap. This smells so good, absolutely delicious. This is another thing I buy every year, the pumpkin butter. I like this on the pumpkin bagels if I don't do the cream cheese. It's also really good in a yogurt bowl just to add a little bit or just with the pumpkin yogurt. It's so good and it's just one of my staples from Trader Joe's. And I grabbed two yogurts. So I buy a pumpkin one every year and then I don't know if this one's new or if I just have never bought it before. It's the Honeycrisp Apple Cinnamon. These are a non-fat Greek yogurt. So I had to grab those. Wanted to try both of those. I this little baby outside and had to pick it up. They had lots of colors of the sugar skulls. I like this white one. It has succulents in it. I already decorated for Halloween. You guys will see a little Halloween home tour in next week's What I Eat in a Day. But I'm going to add this beautiful sugar skull to my Halloween decor. This is another thing I buy every year. Hey, Mary Kara, if you're watching, the Triple Ginger Cookie Thins are back. Her and I love these. Mary Kara is one of my coaching clients, one of my friends that I met here on YouTube. We love these. You can actually have nine of them for 110 calories. So it is the perfect sweet treat. They're like these crispy ginger snaps. It's really hard to explain, but they are absolutely delicious. And again, something I buy every fall. I got these little spooky bats and cats sour gummies. I did try these. I had one of each color, the green, the orange, and the purple. These are so good. Dangerously good. So excited for those for Halloween. And that's everything pumpkin fall so far. If they get more stuff in, we'll buy more down the road. But I picked up this cracker assortment. It's four individually wrapped crackers. This is for Thanksgiving. I buy this every single year. It's $3.99. So that's an amazing deal. And the crackers are so delicious. I also picked up some more organic old fashioned rolled oats. I always buy my oats organic and Trader Joe's has a really good deal. So I grabbed those. Two bags of the chicken fried rice. Troy and I love these for a quick, simple meal. This is new, I've never seen this before. It's rigatoni alla contadio. Din Dina, it's rigatoni pasta with asparagus, broccoli, and green peas in a creamy sauce. So I thought that would be a good side dish. I wanted to try it. Like I said, I've never purchased it. It may be new to Trader Joe's. I also got the organic Caesar salad kit. Love this so much. This is new or new this year or back potentially this year. These are the bourbon vanilla beans. So if you like to use actual vanilla bean that you scrape the inside, which is honestly the best for baking. I do have lots of fall baking. You actually, there's a fall video coming your way tomorrow. Subscribe, turn your bell on. You're not gonna wanna miss it. But this is just a great way to add vanilla. It's just the true, true vanilla. Two beans for $2.99, that is an amazing deal. This would be $10, $12, $15 dollars elsewhere. So if you like the actual vanilla bean, grab it at Trader Joe's. Picked up some mushrooms for a dinner recipe and then restocked my light shredded three cheese blend. I always buy this whenever I'm at Trader Joe's. Do you wanna try your new pumpkin treats? I'll give you and Palmer one as soon as we're done. She just got back from chemo, so she definitely needs a treat. So that is everything that I picked up at Trader Joe's. We've got pumpkin palooza happening and I can't wait to see what else comes out for fall and then obviously all of the great Christmas stuff. The second part of my grocery haul for the week is from my local Fry store, which is a Kroger store. What you don't see is four 12 packs of Diet Coke, 
all Coke products, Dr. Pepper, and I think 7-Up are buy two 12 packs, get two free. So I picked up four for Troy. I also grabbed two gallons of skim milk for him for the week. This one was reduced, but doesn't have an expiration date until September 18th. And then I picked him up a second gallon. I got some Barilla Protein Plus pasta. This is for a recipe. I really like this shape. I like fun shaped pasta. I still have not placed my nutrition order, so I definitely need to do that for my fiber gourmet, but this will work in the meantime. I also picked up a can of tomato sauce for a recipe, and I couldn't pass this candle up. How cute is this? Zombie Brain Punch. It actually smells really good. It's tall and skinny. It was $4.49, so I thought it would be fun on my little arrangement I have here on my kitchen island. Yes, I have decorated for Halloween. I'll show you guys a little Halloween home tour in next week's What I Eat in a Day. So I'm excited to burn that. I also picked up some peanut butter cookies for Troy. Candy corn, I'm going to replace when these little sour gummies are gone from the Trader Joe's haul in my little Frankenstein bowl, I will put in some candy corn and that'll carry us through Halloween. I did pick up some eggs because the lady we buy our eggs from doesn't usually come into town until Sundays and I need an entire dozen eggs for my breakfast meal prep and I'm not going to have enough. So I grabbed these, these will tide me over. I much prefer my farm fresh eggs. I got the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. This is for my breakfast meal prep. I also did a restock of my sweet baby rays no sugar added barbecue sauce this is the sweet and smoky that is for my lunch meal prep picked up some more lunch meat i know i bought quite a bit last week but we have our lake day for boot camp today i'm making little mini sandwiches so i'm going to go through a lot of lunch meat and i wanted to make sure i had enough on hand for troy so these are actually for him i still have some turkey this is the ultra thin pastrami and the ultra thin roast beef these are on digital coupon for three dollars and 49 cents so really good deal I also got this classic Caesar kit on clearance for $1.93 or on reduction for $1.93. I love Caesar salad kits with the real good chicken strips, nuggets. So that's going to come in really handy for a quick lunch or dinner. Troy also asked for some more saltines. He's been eating soup and chili and we are completely out of saltines. This was an exciting find. They have their whole private selection apple line back. They had apple cheesecake cookies. They had apple pretzels. I almost got those and then I saw the popcorn. They had pancake mix, Keurig pods, apple cider, sparkling water. I mean, you name it. They had the harvest apple from private selection, a whole display of all of the things. So I had to get the popcorn. I think I also want to get the pretzels before they're gone, but it says crunchy, buttery caramel popcorn with a hint of sweet apple. Troy loves caramel corn and so do I. So this will be a nice little sweet treat and you get a half of a cup for 130 calories. I also got a big, huge bag of sweet potatoes. I actually need sweet potatoes for two separate recipes this week. I got some chicken breast. This was reduced. There's quite a bit of meat reduced. So I grabbed everything that I thought that I would use and I'm out of chicken in the freezer. So I picked this up. It's organic chicken, $8.12. I also got a pound of 93.7 ground beef for $5.69. And this will be really handy as well. Sometimes I just like to cook up some burgers for a quick, easy dinner or just to have on hand for lunch. So these are 90 three seven burgers so that like I said will come in really handy definitely check out your reduced meat section at Kroger stores my favorite lettuce for my unwitches and then also we are having BLTs this week so I'll use that lettuce for that got a little mini veggie tray for Troy it was reduced to 367 couldn't pass that up Lots of tomatoes for the BLTs as well as some recipes. The big ginormous jumbo sized blueberries, these are always so yummy and sweet, are on digital coupon for $2.99. So it's a really good deal. So I picked up one. I do still have some of the mini oranges left and those nectarines I bought at Costco. We have about half a box left. So I didn't want to overbuy fruit, but I did grab the jumbo blueberries and then some green bell peppers and a red bell pepper for a recipe. So that is all of this week's groceries. I had a pretty good sized haul for you. Pumpkin Palooza is here. Stay tuned for more fall food finds as we go through the season, but let's jump into what's for dinners and meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. For dinner, I'm making Italian hot dish. You'll actually see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then like I mentioned, we're having BLTs. And for meal prep, this is what you'll see on Monday. I'm doing an ultimate breakfast casserole. So excited for that. For lunch, I am doing mini turkey meatloaf. And then for a sweet treat, I'm doing sweet 
potato cookie. So again, you'll see everything in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good pumpkin fall things I picked up. There is definitely more to come as they come out at other stores and at Trader Joe's. I'll be picking them up. So we'll test those out in video when what I eat in a day is together. I'm just excited for fall. It's one of my favorite times of year. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video and check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.